All across America, today's high schoolers face very real, very big challenges, ranging from underage drinking, teen pregnancy, and teen suicide. Challenge Day, though, however, is trying to make a difference. And we're here on the campus of Wetonka High School, and we're checking out for ourselves Challenge Day 2008 on this special edition of Gorge Glance. I started with the uh, Challenge Day program while I was principal at Columbia High School in White Salmon, Washington. Okay. And I became familiar through um, my counselor and uh, uh, several ladies, Joanne Hamilton, that was instrumental in bringing the program to Columbia High School. Okay. And so I, I was first introduced at that time. And as I moved here, I could see that we needed something, some type of a strategy that brings kids together, mm -hmm. that's something that breaks down those barriers mm -hmm. and improves the culture of the school so it's a, a better learning environment. And I think over the years we've been successful at doing that. So you, you, you can gauge the difference from once they've had the, the training or the challenge day, um, you, you can actually see the difference in the Overnight. students? And is that, how do you keep that alive? How do you keep, I mean, they're, they're talking about, you know, yes, I want this change. I'm embracing this change. I'm gonna live this change. That's today. How do you keep it going for tomorrow and the next day and the rest of the year in their life? Well, there are constant m reminders around the school. Um, we also have, we're going to work through Think, which is um, Wasco County Prevention Coalition is where it initially started. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's an agency through Wasco County that supported and actually they support the funding of this program for our school and as well as it's expanded to uh, Hood River High School, um, Dufer High School and many of the outlying areas, um, Goldendale. So we invited students our first year, that was two years ago, um, from Tiger Bend and as those students came in with their advisors, they took it back to their schools, and now they're starting to do Challenge Day in their schools. So it's, it starts small, and then our, our goal is to make that grow into the community so it becomes a part of not only the schools, but some of the change that we see, uh, it breaks down those barriers so people can communicate. We're hopeful that that circle of change will start growing. How are you guys prepared? What kind of training do you go through? What, what requirements are there? Um, our training is very intense. Uh -huh. um, we commit to ongoing personal growth. So that means that we are equally um, having to share, just like we ask of them um, amongst us as a community in Challenge Day. Um, I guess the training for this job is to expose ourselves to the most vulnerable place in our lives and keep on searching what that could be so that in, we ha if we happen to see something like that in a room, we're ready and we won't go to that immediate reaction where we would have in case we didn't you know, get there. Um, we do a lot of what we call just one-on-one -on -one time where we get to not only empty our balloons and talk about what's going on for us, but just in case that something might be lingering or maybe that particular week we were in a, in a day that brought up something for us that we get to filter that through, I mean through. So like, um, we, it's just ongoing. Are you guys, what is the, um, like the largest size school that you guys will go and, and speak at? Or mm -hmm. is it, you can handle any size school? The, the size of the school doesn't matter as much. We don't do more than 100 students in a day. Okay. So we'll okay. have a hundred students and then, you know, a number of at least, uh, you know, an adult with at least every, you know, four to six students. Okay. No more than six students. We try to keep it around five. Okay. Um, but we do have other things. We'll, we do assembly programs mm -hmm. to where we'll work up and we'll do a couple challenge days, like three or four challenge days. I'm not exactly sure because I haven't done one yet. Okay. And then at the end of it, once we have enough people in the room who are, you know, know what challenge day is about and are used to the program, then we'll bring the whole school into an assembly and do an assembly style 
oh, wow. um, program with them. So how do you keep the energy up during, you know, it, for this challenge day here in Oregon? It was two days. Are they always two days? Oh, we actually did three. Oh, you we did, did three. another one out in Dufer. Okay. So that was our first day this week, and then we did two here. So we did okay. three. Okay. Okay. So that even makes my question bigger. <laughs> so you did three. So how do you keep that energy level up through each one and still stay authentic and connected and care for the kids? Um, well, it's very much like practice, I would say. It's like a muscle. You know, when you first start doing it, um, it can be a little bit draining. You know, it does take a lot of energy to not just be in the moment, but to also, you know, for you to also be in it, mm -hmm. um, be present with what's going on. Um, as far as how do we take care of ourselves, for this to actually, you know, keep going is everybody has their own needs. You know, there's mm -hmm. people that like to go right after the day and rest. Mm -hmm. There's people that like to take a nap in between that and, and maybe hanging out in that evening. For me, I like to um, go work out right after the day. Mm -hmm. So that way I get like an extra energy boost. But for me, honestly, um, even if I'm having like a rough time waking up in the morning, every time that I'm in the room, as soon as I see fresh new faces, it's like, here we go again. These people I've never heard of before. These people have never gone through it. Some of them have no idea what's gonna happen. And so that's the way that it stays authentic. Okay. Because I'm telling my stories for the very first time to them. Many of the times we find that as a result of Challenge Day, some of the students with, that are dealing with emotional issues at home, it could be series of uh, abuse, neglect, abandonment, all of those social issues, mm -hmm. they all bring them to our school. And we have to help eliminate some of those issues before they can start to learn. Mm -hmm. And so this is an effort to what I call baggage, when they bring the baggage, like waiting for a train to arrive. And those students that aren't packing the baggage are the ones able to get on the train and move down the track quickly. The kids with all the baggage um, have a difficult time learning. Mm -hmm. And so it's by coming together with all of these different agencies, mm -hmm. what we're able to do is maybe help some kids get some baggage off and start learning. Do the majority of the schools continue each year doing Challenge Day? We try to. Okay. We try to, um, and it's all about, you know, committing, because we, when we come in, we try to establish, like, a Be the Change movement and, like, get the students involved, because we're only here for a day. Right. But, you know, and, and, you know, we give them, the students and everyone, an experience of, you know, the truth of us, you know, being connected and connecting with each other and how we separate and oppression and things like that. So we give them that day-long experience, but after that, it's up to them to keep things going. So we try to spark and say, you know, let's do a, a club, let's keep doing the activities we did in Challenge Day. Um, gotcha. So we try to establish those clubs and then come back every year, and you know, so the schools will keep implementing the things and, and we'll keep coming back and building more community in all the areas that we be in. Okay, yeah, because so. that was one of my questions was, how do you keep sort of the uh, vibe and the excitement mm -hmm. um, going mm -hmm. after the day's over. Absolutely. So there is cl uh, clubs mm -hmm. and, and things that you implement during that day, or, mm -hmm. or how exactly do you implement those? We, we, we have a sign up at the end of the day for students to sign up for a, for a Be The Change Club is what we call it. Okay. Um, and our company is changing as far as the rules, because I mean, that's one of our main concerns is, you know, we as a company don't want to come places and and have them and just have it be a day long experience it's right. important to us that things keep going and it's understood like we give such an eye-opening beautiful experience and then it's like what do we do mm -hmm. half of the truth around the matter is is that like we're only two people coming into a room and it's actually up to the people that we come to mm -hmm. so we we try to establish be the change clubs one of the new things that that we're doing is that we're going to have the schools actually have a Be The Change Club implemented before we come to the schools. So to show okay. us that, like, you know, we're really about Challenge Day. We're really about, you know, making this change in our right. school. So then there'll already be some momentum behind it when we come to the school, and that momentum will build and then continue after we leave. Our special Gorge Glance on Challenge Day will continue after the break.